if we go to the task list 2 this is not available here because we have to include this content type here before including the content type you have to allow to manage other content type and leave all the configuration as it is and then you should have another section to add a new content type and you can add this from the existing content type our group was list content type so here it should be available okay task content type 3 you have to add and then press ok now your task content type should be available for example you can add another from existing sign content type for example we can add one content type just for example message so that I can show you that any kind of content type you can add in your list so there is three content type now should be available in the list item if we go to list then you can see three content type if I open a task then there is a, these columns role feedback if we go to this content type then there is comments too which is custom type con column with the new content type for example custom task we can create another task assign to these people important okay now its column uh, the custom column has been created sorry custom template uh, task has been created and we can also create a message test message sorry test message okay now see you can see all the type of uh, content type of task has been included in the list but which doesn't match in the with the column of another content type it will sh show null or uh, blank empty so it is not a problem you can add another type of uh, content type uh, which is not doesn't match uh, or doesn't inherit it from the task list it doesn't matter maybe it will only show the uh, columns which is match with the other content types now I will show you the custom view for your list here you can see there is only all task list which is default view and there are some others maybe you want to create another view for you you can create from here and also from here I, it is better to go from here to better understanding at the bottom you will see all the list of the views and you can remove and delete from here and then you can create a standard view and from here we can choose for example feed back view it is only the, the view for the personal only the have the comments or feedback for example I can show you the comments we do not need role percentage completes priority we can keep uh, only title assigned to status comments and feedback also feedback and it should be personal view so there is some other filtering configuration you can do uh, your configuration then you can see this is a feedback view and it is only for the administrative account if I change this account it will not be visible for example if I go to the all task view and if I log in as a different user
see here is not uh, the feedback view so it is only for the administrative purpose and if I change the login you will see here it is available the feedback view and see in the feedback view before I told you before uh, comments is not available in this type so in the first task the default content type has no value uh, in the custom content type, since the feedback is not available comments to is available so this value is available here the value of the comment so in this way you can customize your list and uh, you can do uh, some uh, modification in your list view or in the column view or anything that is supported by SharePoint because it, for the time limitation it is not possible to show all the things from here you can see all the options to do some configuration and later if I have some advanced lesson on this I will sh try to show you the other options and uh, I hope uh, this uh, lesson will be helpful for you and it will be enjoyable for you and in the same way when you create uh, other list for example uh, project task uh, uh, you can do the same okay now I will show a little bit on how to create a uh, template with this list and you can create a different list because maybe you need uh, four or five lists with the same configuration for this you do not need to do same thing again and again so for this if you have to go to list settings and here you can see the save as temp save list as template so there will be a there will be a created template before going to the template I can show you uh, in another window that now the status uh, is like this in the action menu site action uh, create menus here there is option of uh, creating a list in the tracking survey task list it was my previous uh, template so now I will create another sorry another template for example task list 2 template okay we will not include the content here if you want to include the also content then okay if we go to the you can see your deployed uh, template and from here if I refresh then you will see your new task list and from here you can create another one okay we can keep it like as it is then if you see okay test template if you go there you will see all the configuration and all the views views is not created so if we see here you can see here the list of the views the views is not created but the content type and others configuration has been created because view is for individual list and it does not uh, possible to inherit from the template so but other the columns and other configuration is the same like previous so it would be easier for you to make a custom list and configure it and make a template and do according to uh, for uh, that list by creating a template and um, create another list with this template well now in the next lesson I will show you more customization uh, how to customize the new form or the edit form of the list uh, uh, of the list so wait for the second lesson and see you again bye